Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Woman Radio. This is episode number 209, and I am your host, Tammy Trayer. For those of you that are new to Mountain Woman Radio or to Trayer Wilderness, my family and I embarked on an off-grid journey a decade ago, and we have been sharing our traditional faith-led preparedness lifestyle with the world ever since. And we take great passion in sharing our knowledge and our skills. We discuss uh, high-functioning autism because our son um, is high-functioning autistic. And we share our journey with others as well as our, our efforts in attempting to inspire others to embrace their dreams. Today's episode, we are going to talk about faith, trust, and obedience. And I've got great motivation for sharing this story with you and this episode with you. Um, For those of you that have been joining us, um, especially for the last four years, um, and listening in and watching and sharing our journey, you have been watching us walk through a an extreme valley uh, with my health and our financial situation. Um, But during that time, I have to believe that you've also seen great and extreme faith and trust in God and also obedience. We have done things and walked out things at times that people just did not understand and and, um, didn't feel we were making good choices. But through circumstances right now, I truly believe that God is blessing our socks off for our faith, our trust, and our obedience. So let me share a little bit with you. There are some things happening right now that unfortunately I can't share with you, but as soon as I can, I will because they are pretty amazing and also kind of go along with some of the other things that I will be sharing with you today and upcoming. But... There is the potential that we have a buyer for our home, which is absolutely amazing. And um, we are all just being greatly blessed. And I always share with you guys about how I see my hearts and I see eagles sometimes. That was something I've seen, but that's pretty dominant for the mountain man. And these are signs to us that um, God is just sharing with us that life is good. Despite maybe what we are walking out there, signs of um, joy and and comfort for us. And on Valentine's Day, I had made a trip early in the morning and um, I had to return and I had to unlock our gate and pull in and lock the gate back up. And when I got back in the truck and I sat down, an eagle flew directly in front of my windshield and over and across a clear cut. And I'm a photographer, I'm a videographer, and I looked at my phone and I just left it sit and I just enjoyed the moment. I could have counted that eagle's feathers. It was amazing. And just watching it fly, I was just in awe and I was very thankful. I started to move forward with the truck and four bald eagles flew in front of my windshield the same as the first one did and did the same thing. Now, many of you have never seen a bald eagle or a golden eagle in your lifetime. We do have golden eagles and bald eagles around here and we do see them often, but I have never in my life seen more than two flying at a time, let alone four flying and just having seen the fifth one. Now, a little backstory. Um, I've been really, really enjoying the song Waymaker by Caleb and Kelsey. It has just been really resonating with me. And God is a Waymaker. And, and we are seeing doors opening and we are seeing goodness in our lives. And, you know, through this whole rough journey, I would not trade or change anything. There has been so much amazing things happening. I did a podcast last year on the beauties of the chaos or the beauties of the storm. And you know, that song is just resonating so greatly with me. And of course, what is playing on the radio as I'm experiencing these eagles. So I get down the lane, our lane is a mile long 
and there's a sharp curve that continues down. And as I'm hitting the beginning of that curve, an eagle flies over top of me, flies around the curve and leads the way down the lane and then heads into the wilds. And I said it out loud. I'm like, what would make this absolutely perfect is to see the seventh eagle. That is the number from the Bible. I've always referred to that number as my lucky number, but after Friday or after the uh, Valentine's Day, I have decided that that number is my God number because as I continued down the lane, directly across from my home sat a massive bald eagle in the tree and was just beautiful. The sun shining on it. I got a photo of it. I got a video of it flying and I just sat there and bawled and they were happy tears. They were tears of awe. They were tears of just complete giddiness and, and goosebumps all over knowing that God was showing me that our lives are changing. And like I said, I was already feeling that, but what a confirmation to know that we are walking out God's will. And that is a tremendous thing. And it's also a tremendous thing to walk out a really hard time and still see the goodness in it and still be able to find your joy and happiness despite the valley. And, and I talk to a lot of people and there are many people that have said to me that God would not ask us in a very raw place to do something um, risky or put the potential to put us in a worse place. But I totally and completely disagree with that. God has taken us to places that I can't even describe during this journey. He asked us when we had absolutely nothing to help others with no compensation. And I had such great peace with that. And so did the mountain man. And we had other people shaking their heads at us. We've lost friends as a result of some of the choices we've made. But I know that God was asking us to do that. And I don't doubt that God was asking us to do that. Because I want you to think of something. This morning doing my devotions, I read four separate devotionals, four devotionals from four completely unrelated different resources. Every one of them talked about Joseph and gave reference to Joseph. Why? Because Joseph was betrayed by his family. He was left in prison and in bad places and, and walked out a very, very difficult time. But God used that time for Joseph and, to, and used him for such amazing, amazing good. And the whole while, Joseph never had anything negative to say. He rolled with what God was walking him through and knew that God would deliver him from it. And he did. The other reference that was mentioned in the last devotional that I read this morning was Esther. And Esther too is a perfect example of somebody who walked out different things that led her and built her up to be in the position that she was in and in a position to risk her life to save the Jews. God uses us and whether he uses us to grow up us or someone close to us or whether he uses us for other people walking on the outside to see and grow from it. He brings beauty from the ashes and he does absolutely, without a doubt, amazing things. And where does that come from? And how do we gain that? We need to seek him, we need to trust him, we need to have faith in him, and we need to be obedient. When he calls us to do something, regardless if it puts fear in you or makes you nervous 
or it's something you can't even imagine or fathom that he would ask you to do, but you're feeling very prompted. And one way to um, confirm that God is doing these things is to ask him that if what I am feeling led to do is not in your will, please make it fall apart. And we've done that. And doors just swing wide open. And it has been just so amazing walking this out because I've always had strong faith, but I did have fear and worry in my younger days. And I'd question a lot of things. And once I got sick, I lost that fear and worry and I just had such great trust and faith in him that when things happen, I don't think twice and I don't have fear and worry anymore. Those are just not natural emotions for me anymore at all. I don't, I don't feel them. And I'm so grateful because I just feel great joy. And I know that it, even if things just suddenly go upside down, I know he has purpose in it. And if something that we wanted doesn't manifest, it wasn't meant to be. So when you start to look at things that way and you truly trust him and what he's going to do and know that if you do end up walking out a difficult time, it's not something that he, he created for you. He may allow you to walk through it, but he's going to walk through that with you side by side. And trust me, at times he's going to carry you. You know, we all grow weak. We all grow weary. And that's part of our journey. That's part of our growth. But the more you learn to trust and truly believe his goodness and have faith in that, it's a habit. And, and the more you truly begin to, to believe it, that you don't question it. And I want to share that with you because the place I am walking out, the days that I walk out every day, are beyond amazing. I see his presence. I feel his presence. I just came back from a walk with my dogs and I wished I would have been recording because the whole path that I was on was heart shapes. Some were from um, deer hoofs that turned into um, heart shapes. There were rocks. I mean, it was just one heart after the other. You know, people can say that's coincidence and that's okay, but I don't believe so. I believe he guides us and he guides us with what resonates with us and he guides us in communicating with us, showing us what we need to see. Those four devotionals, I'm sorry, they're not coincidence. There are no coincidence and there is no luck. It is God's blessings, God's miracles, God's gifts to us. And truly, we have the ability to be a light. While we're walking out these circumstances, regardless what it is you're walking out, I know it's hard. Trust me, I know how hard things can be, but there's always, always, always something good to be found in those valleys. And when you seek the good stuff, and when you take baby steps to walk your way out of that valley, and you build your faith and your trust muscles and you choose to be obedient, God is gonna take you to amazing, amazing places. He is going to knock your socks off. So this is just some of what is happening right now for my family and I, and I had to share it with you because these are powerful things that we have full control over and that we have the ability to um, choose to use to create goodness in our lives. So many of us are seeking joy and happiness in this world, but we're seeking them from all the wrong places. The place to seek joy and happiness is by reading God's word and by having a constant relationship with him. I spend at least a half an hour every day in the morning with him, if not an hour. The majority is an hour. And I've spent more. And, you know, I'm a busy person. I've got a lot to do. And some days it gives me a little anxiety in the beginning, or I should say used to, you know, to spend that kind of time when I've got all the things I have to get done, done. But when I take that time, I guarantee you, everything on my list that needs to get done gets done. I have 
so much more joy and happiness in my life. I feel grounded. I feel centered. I feel renewed. I feel focused. And I've been given, divinely given, information that day that always helps me in my walk and in my day. The four devotionals today fed my fire. I am fueled. I am renewed. And I know what God is doing in our lives. I've believed that from the beginning. And uh, I believe right now he is choosing to deliver us from this situation that we are in. And I fully trust the outcome. Wherever he takes us, whatever he does, I trust. I totally trust it. And I am choosing to be obedient because by my obedience, I am seeing greater gifts. And I want to be obedient to him because he is so incredibly good to us. And I can say that because he saved my life and I am here to share it with you. So guys, I hope this fuels your fire. Build your faith and trust muscles. Be obedient and know that no matter what you are walking out, he will be there by your side and in his timing, he will do miraculous and amazing things. Trust that. And I look forward to seeing you uh, on the next episode. And thank you for taking the time to join me. Give it a thumbs up, a review, share it with your friends because the more I, people I reach, um, the more lives I'm hoping to change. So guys, take care, have an awesome day and God bless.